Welcome to Ranger Reviews, a web series where we look at episodes of the TV show Power Rangers and then discuss them. Today we're exploring the 39th episode of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers titled Doomsday, Part 1. We start at Angel Grove High, where Kim is reading a newspaper to Jason, Trini, and Billy how today is officially Power Ranger Day thanks to Angel Grove officials. Zack joins up with them, and they read about how they hope that the Power Rangers will show up, and the Rangers say such incognito things as, we wouldn't be surprised if they did. Meanwhile, Bulk and Skull are playing to steal the Power Rangers' thunders by showing them that they're not the only superheroes in this city. Somehow. On the moon, Rita is activating Goldar's Zord, Cyclopsis. Who knows why she waited this long to break this baby out, but by the power vested in this weird ass skull, she's bringing it. At the park, Jason and Zack are looking for Billy, Trini, and Kimberly. And Zack hits on Angela, who says that she'd say yes to him if he were a Power Ranger. And Zack wants to morph to show her that she's really messing on this big Black Ranger dick. Billy, Trini, and Kim are walking around, and Kim says that she doesn't see Tommy anywhere. Trini makes a good point. He probably feels left out. Like how you guys have left him out of your lives since he lost his powers. Bulk and Skull show up at the park and get dressed into superhero costumes and walk around, trying to get people to pay attention to them as Bulkster and Super Skull. Also, Bulk has a hamburger on his belt. The Rangers get ready to morph to surprise the citizens of Angel Grove, but before they can, Bulk and Skull take the stage, introducing themselves to the crowd. Some kids want to see superpowers from the two, and all they can do is pose while everybody laughs at them. On the moon, Rita decides to zap the citizens of Angel Grove into nothingness, leaving no one in the park except for the teens. Jason contacts Zordon, and Zordon lets him know that Rita has kidnapped everyone. Turns out, Rita is bringing her palace to the earth which is somehow going to increase her powers. I have no idea why she wouldn't have just set it up on Earth to begin with, but it's okay, because she lands and creates an earthquake. Also, it's time to break out Goldar's Zord, Cyclopsis, who rises from a molten crevice slowly. Zordon and Alpha check the viewing globe to see that Goldar has gotten into Cyclopsis, which they haven't seen in 10,000 years, apparently. The Rangers morph to the scene, calling out their dinosaurs right away. After a drawn out sequence, they combine into the Megazord to fight Cyclopsis. Things don't go well for the Rangers, who probably get their asses handed to them by Cyclopsis. They're struggling to match the Zord move for move, but they really can't keep up. Then Cyclopsis fires missiles from his chest at the Megazord, knocking it onto the ground. They get up, and Jason calls up the Dragon Zord with the Dragon Dagger. I wonder if Tommy got kidnapped or if he's just standing there watching this all happen. The Dragon Zord shows up, and honestly, it's not much help at all. So they switch to the Dragon Zord battle mode. They really cannot keep that name straight. And along with the T-Rex Zord, they try to fend off the Cyclopsis again. But again, Goldar is wiping the floor with them. Seriously. Then Titana shows up and the Rangers create the Ultra Zord while the theme song plays. At this point, how is there even a part two? They fire at Cyclopsis who falls to the ground and explodes after Goldar disappears and its head flies off. Then Rita gets pissed and fires at the ground causing Titanus to sink into the earth. It's kind of haunting. Then, Rita yells at a random pillar, summoning Lokar, which she definitely didn't have to do last time at all. According to her, with Lokar, she can rebuild Cyclopsis, and they promptly do. Then, the Power Rangers are in the command center? What? Zordon tells them that there's nothing they can do until their Zords are re-energized, and the people are still kidnapped, but they're okay. They need to win to save them. To be continued. As much as I personally usually don't care for Megazord battles, this episode's awesome. Cyclopsis is impressive, and it's nice to see Goldar doing literally anything other than lose. Rita coming to Earth is a nice touch, and while some of the editing is pretty damn shoddy with Lokar's arrival, it's still a solid effort from the team. So how will this pan out for the Rangers? Will they save Angel Grove and all of its people? Find out next time, but until then, may the power protect you.